Almost three quarters of a million people undergo LASIK to correct their vision in the U.S. every year. It's one of the most successful surgeries in history, primarily because of the precision with which we can reshape the cornea with the laser and the fast recovery time. LASIK is performed by creating a thin flap on the surface of the eye and then reshaping the underlying cornea with a laser. And the technology continues to evolve. Doctors at UCLA now use a laser to create the flap as well. In the past, this step was done with a high precision blade. So there's no blades involved whatsoever in the surgery. And additional to the fact that patients are very happy about the fact we're not using a blade, there are actually some other clinical advantages to that. Number one, we have much more precise control over the thickness of the flap. We can control the size and the shape of the flap. Um, and with some research we've done here at UCLA, it looks like the flap actually heals stronger when we use the laser to create it rather than the blade. Another major advance in LASIK surgery is the ability to map and evaluate a patient's eyes in precise detail, making the correction ever more accurate and helping doctors select the best candidates for the procedure. LASIK is so well known in society that many people assume it's kind of like getting contact lenses. Well, the reality is that we need to do a number of detailed tests to look at the shape of the cornea, the thickness of the cornea, um, the rest of the health of the eye to determine candidacy. Here at UCLA we, we do a lot of research in this area and we have several devices that are, are very new. One of them is actually a device that, that pushes on the cornea with a, with a little air puff. And we watch the deflection of the cornea and that allows us to tell the strength of the cornea. There are patients that may have a cornea that's slightly weak and that's difficult to, to detect sometimes. And that patient may not be the best candidate for LASIK. And for many who are not the best candidates for LASIK, like many aging baby boomers and patients with a cloudy lens or cataract, there are new options for them. We now have some very new lens implants that are very effective at actually restoring both distance and near vision without glasses, which is a very new development over the last three to four years. And so that now allows us to treat patients that may be a little bit on the older side um, to, to give them back both distance and near vision without glasses, which is really a revolutionary um, development. But for Amanda, in her 20s with extreme nearsightedness and astigmatism, and who has never seen her world clearly without contacts or glasses since she was 12, LASIK, she says, is a dream come true. Amanda underwent the procedure on a Thursday. And on Friday, the following day, her vision was already near perfect. I woke up this morning and I was able to see my clock and look around my room and I could see everything pretty clearly. It was amazing. It was something that I had never had before that I could remember. I was looking at my glasses and like, I can throw these away. <laughs> so it was pretty exciting.